What's up my friends, welcome back, you're watching Harv, video audio stuff, and in this video I'm checking out the VMic D3 on-camera microphone from Deity. I want to find out what it sounds like, what kind of build quality, user experience and value you can expect from this, and most importantly, whether it's any good. Just one quick bit of housekeeping, these videos are powered by my Patreon backers. It's a non-profit thing where any funds from Patreon go back into the channel to buy equipment and I review them and then give them away to you guys. It's just a really elegant way of improving my content, which I hope is pretty good already. Plus, there's the opportunity to win some awesome gear, so really, it's win-win. So, what is this? The Deity D3 is an on-camera active microphone designed essentially to give you really high-quality audio straight onto your video files without the need for outboard equipment. Why active? Well, active meaning battery-powered inevitably gives you a more sensitive microphone with a lower noise floor and less distortion. The D3 runs on just two AAA batteries and it gives you an unbelievable 200 hours of runtime. I mean, you can't really ask for more than that. It also has a really cool function where it will switch on and off automatically. Cameras send a very small amount of current out of the audio output when they're switched on, and that's how they can power batteryless mics like the Rode Video Micro. The D3 detects that, and that's how it knows how to switch on and off, saving every scrap of power and extending the battery life. Some people might call this a shotgun mic, but strictly speaking, it's a super cardioid pattern mic, which picks up sound sort of in this kind of pattern. A true shotgun mic would have a far more directional pickup pattern with much longer reach. The D3 uses the same condenser capsule as the D3 Pro, which is probably the most important component of a mic like this, and Deity haven't compromised. If you're not an audio guy, a capsule on a microphone is a bit like a diaphragm that will vibrate when sound waves hit it, much like, uh, I suppose, your eardrum. The camera equivalent of a capsule would be a camera's sensor, and we all know that camera sensors are not all born equal. So a really high quality capsule on a microphone is key to the mic sounding good. Usually with products in the Deity range, you can find a close comparison to a Rode product. And that makes perfect sense because Rode are the brand leader when it comes to on-camera microphone. And Deity are trying to do, they're trying to do it sort of better and cheaper at the same time and pretty successfully, I would say. And you may be thinking, well, the D3, isn't it? pretty similar to the Rode VideoMic Pro. They look similar, after all. I don't consider these equal products. I don't think it's a good comparison, despite the multitude of videos online that do. Sure, there are similarities. They're both super cardioid, active, on-camera microphones, but the Rode has a low-cut filter. It has a 10 decibel pad, so reduction in decibels. It also has a 20 decibel boost if you need it. However, the Deity kills the road on battery life, plus the road uses the much more expensive 9 volt batteries. So I don't really want to compare these two products. They have different features and the price points are rightly quite different. A closer comparison to the D3 might be the Rode VideoMic Go, which is similarly stripped back and simple feature-wise, but it's not active, so it won't be anywhere near as sensitive as the D3. Anyway, how about the build quality? The D3 has an aluminium construction, which I love. Aluminium is a great material for this kind of product. It's lightweight, sturdy, stylish, and sustainable. Awesome. And just to note, the more expensive Rode VideoMic Pro is almost entirely made of plastic, so... It comes with a Rycoat shock mount, which has become quite common for this type of mic, and rightly so, because they work pretty well. You also get a foam windscreen, which I tend to prefer over the Dead Cat style windscreens, although I'm not sure if they offer more protection from wind noise. The one thing I'd say is to always remove the foam windscreen when shooting indoors, because it does have a small impact on your frequency response. So, how about the user experience? The D3 couldn't really be easier to use. It, I mean, it has no controls, so there's nothing to learn. You just plug it in, it's also on off, as I mentioned. You just set your gain on your camera and hit record. That's it. The aspect of user experience that I'm more interested in is how it sounds out of camera and how easy it is to work with to get it sounding the best it can when you edit your footage. So let me show you how it sounds straight out of camera and then with a bit of EQ and compression to compare and I might even play a little bit of guitar. Let's do it.
Something to consider is that there's absolutely no reason why you need to keep this microphone on your camera. Here you can see I've just popped it on its own stand and I've stretched it. Of course, it's best if you can get a cable that's longer. And another cool thing you can do is pair this mic with a wireless receiver like the Rode Wireless Go or Deity Pocket Wireless System. And that way you can position the microphone right over your subject if you're doing an interview style video and you want that more direct sound. But the proximity effect of getting the mic closer to your source is always going to give it an extra bump of kind of rich bass. Check out how it sounds now the mic is closer. <laughs> Well, hey, I've got the Deity D3 just up here. It's about arm's length from me, and I'm just wondering what it sounds like. I'm shooting on the Sony a7S III. I've got an OC T7 monitor. I've got a small rig cage. The, the microphone is on the handle, attached to the handle of the cage. That's the kind of setup I've got. I've got the Aperture C300 light up here with a light dome. I'm just talking. Well, hey, I've got the Deity D3 just up here. It's about arm's length from me, and I'm just wondering what it sounds like. I'm shooting on the Sony a7S III. I've got an OC T7 monitor. I've got a small rig cage. The, the microphone is on the handle, attached to the handle of the cage. That's the kind of setup I've got. I've got the Aperture C300 light up here with a light dome. I'm just talking. Like all of Deity's range, value for money is a real strength and the D3 is no exception. It's a lot of kit for not very much money and it compares really favorably to almost anything out there. Next it's time for the pros and cons and we'll start with the pros because I'm a glass half full kind of guy. Let's do it. So first the pros and value is the biggest pro with the D3. The sound quality at this price point is off the chart. Next is the build quality and often this tends to be a point of weakness with good value products, but not in this case. Aluminium construction, Rycote shock mount, what's not to like? I like the capsule of the D3. It gives a pleasing frequency response. Nice and warm and ready to be EQ'd. And I suppose that overlaps my next pro, which is the overall sound quality. It's sensitive and detailed without being brittle. How can you not love the long battery life? When peripherals like this are battery powered, honestly, it puts me off because it's another thing to think about. But with the D3's batteries lasting 200 hours and knowing that it automatically switches off when I'm not using it, gives me real confidence. And onto the cons, and it's a short list, but it lacks features like a low cut filter and pad, but that's why the D3 Pro exists and it doesn't cost that much more. You could also look at this as a positive, simple operation is valuable to many people. Some people might like it to sound brighter straight out of camera, but brightness can always be added in editing. In my opinion, brightness is too often used as a measure of sound quality. Personally, I value balance more. Finally, to my opinion, and I would say if you need a really good sounding, great value powered microphone and also don't need the features that you might get on the Rode VideoMic Pro or D3 Pro, then the D3 is a sublime choice. It's outrageous value for money, it gives you crazy battery life, and it couldn't be more simple to use. I'd say it's a really nice upgrade if you currently use Rode's Video Micro or Deity's D4 Mini, and you're looking for a significant jump up in quality. Personally, I find that the D3 occupies kind of a no man's land for me. If I'm filming here, or if I'm out somewhere else, filming and audio is a real priority, I'll make sure that I use really high-end audio file microphones. If I'm out shooting clips in nature, I might prefer to have something even smaller, like Deity's D4 Duo, for example, which I reviewed and loved. I'll link it up, up there and down there. Um, and that just keeps things even lighter and smaller. Anyway, that's it for now. I hope you found this interesting and helpful, but I want to hear from you. I want to know what is your number one choice of on-camera microphone? Do you own the D3 already? What's, what's your experience been like with it? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. I've now made hundreds of videos about videography and audio on this channel, of which YouTube has hand-picked this video for you, and the one underneath is my most recent upload. Until next time, let's help each other out and shoot better video. See you guys.